There's lots of different ways to do e-commerce these days, and you can accomplish all of it with Sharecart. So there's, you might want to have a dedicated form when you sell something and the products there. You might want that traditional e-commerce setup where there's an add to cart link. You can do that with Sharecart. Or maybe you just want a link that will take someone to a centralized checkout and they can just pay and check out. You can do that easily as well with Sharecart. So in this video right now, I'm gonna show you how to set up that traditional checkout setup where there's gonna be a button on your site to add a product to the cart, or there's gonna be a button that will take someone directly to this centralized checkout page. I'm gonna show you how to set that all up right now. Now, when you first activate Sharecart, it's gonna create a couple of pages for you. Let's take a look at what those pages are. I'll go over to the pages right here on my website and you'll see them because they will be a hyphen and what that page's purpose is. So Sharecart will have created this page right here that says checkout and you can see this, which means it's assigned as that centralized checkout. We'll come to this page in a moment. Also, it's going to create this dashboard page and you can see this is going to be the customer dashboard. And then when we scroll down, it's also going to create a thank you page. And this is going to be that order confirmation where your buyer is going to land when they complete an order. Now for the checkout page specifically, this is going to be your centralized store checkout. You can also customize the form for this under Surecart and then Forms. Let's click into it. And so you'll also have this default checkout form created. So first let's go ahead and click into the checkout. You can customize this however you want. You might look at this and say, it doesn't have an address field. I need an address field. Well, it's very simple to add an address field. Check out the video that specifically goes over the checkout form in detail. But let's go ahead and just for this video, add the address field because it's a pretty standard thing that you would want to collect on a checkout. So I'm going to click on the block inserter right here and I'm going to scroll down here and let's go ahead and find it. Here it is, the shipping address. I'm going to click and it gets added. Oops, but it's not added where I want it. So I'm going to click on the down arrow right here and now it's going to be underneath the name and the email. This is perfect. If you want to customize this more, like I said, we have a full video on it, but this is all that I want to do. Actually, I want to do one more thing. On the purchase button, I'm going to click on this, and actually, it's already enabled, and it's right here. Show the total due in the button. Perfect. Actually, purchase, let's go ahead and change that to buy now. Great, just so it looks like we customized this some. And I'll go ahead and click on update, and we've customized our checkout form. So what happens is Surecart doesn't know the theme that you have or the page builder that you have. So when that checkout page is created, it might not look up to the standard. So let's go ahead and see what mine looks like now. I'll click on pages. Here it is, checkout page. First, let's view it and then we'll go into the editor view. So let's click on view. And because of the theme I have, it actually doesn't look so bad. Um, it's inside of this container. Maybe it's a little wider than I would want. Um, everything's already customizable in the checkout. So this actually looked pretty good, but depending on how your theme is set up, it might not look exactly how you want it. But the good news is, is you can customize this any way that you want. So I'm going to click on edit page. Now what happens is the checkout form is created and just added to a page using the block editor. You might not like that. You might have something else in mind and that's totally okay. You can start creating this page with whatever tool that you want. So if you're using Elementor or Beaver Builder or the block editor, there's going to be a module called checkout that you can add and then you can design anything you want around it. If you're using any other page builder, there is the checkout form short code. Let me show you where you can get that. I'm going to go back to forms and you can see here's checkout and this is set as the default store checkout. Over here to the right, here's that little short code. So you can design your store checkout that everyone's going to be sent to however you want. You could put testimonials, you could put reassuring badges and frequently asked questions using your page builder of choice and then simply drop this short code in. Like I said, if you're using the block builder, Elementor or Beaver Builder, there's going to be a custom module there for you. So back to the checkout page, um, it's really up to you what you do here. So if I 
maybe want this to look a little different, let me show you what I would do really quick. I'm using the block editor and I'm using Spectra on my site as my website builder. So they have this thing called a container. So I'm gonna create a container like this. And um, let's go ahead and put a heading in like this. All right, and I'll customize the text in this heading and I'll go ahead and center it like that. <laughs> this looks fine. Um, and then actually I'm gonna make this an H1. And now I wanna get the checkout form inside of this container that I created. So I like to go to list view inside of the block editor. Here's my checkout form. I'm gonna drag it into the container. Uh, oops, I actually wanted this to be underneath. I wanted to be underneath my heading. So let me move my heading up. There we go. So it says store checkout and then here's my checkout. Now I don't want it so wide. I'm gonna make it a little more narrow. So I'm gonna click on container and this gives me some width options. So let's go ahead and make this what? Maybe um, uh, 900 pixels wide. There we go, that's fine. So let's go ahead and update it and then see what this looks like. All right, there we go, it says store checkout. Uh, I probably want it a little bit more narrow and I don't want it in this box and I wanna get rid of this heading. And these are all settings that come from my theme. So let's go back into the editor. All right, so the first thing is I wanna disable that page title. With the Astro theme, I just hover over it and I click on the little eyedropper and then that's gone, so that's good. I might wanna change the page layout in my theme and this is a theme setting so i'm going to click on the astro logo and i'm going to want this uh, full width contained and uh, let's go ahead and see what that's looking like now let's go ahead and update it actually this is looking good i think i just need some spacing up here and some spacing down here and i think i'm going to be good and i might want to remove this express checkout so let's go ahead and do that i'll click on the express checkout and let's remove that and then going back into the container settings i'm going to go ahead and put some padding on the top and the bottom so i'm going to click on style spacing and then here's the padding so let's unlink these and for the top let's go ahead and put uh, 80 for the bottom let's put uh, 80 that looks good. All right, and now let's update it and let's go see what it looks like. Okay, this might be as far as you want to take it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, so it just says store checkout and um, it's, probably want to make it maybe a little bit more narrow, but you can see I have some spacing in there. Let's make it nor a little bit more narrow and call it a day. I have to click back into the container and that was the uh, width of this box. Let's go ahead and make that 700 there we go that's making a difference let's click on update and now let's see what it looks like there we go it's looking exactly how i want it now everything you saw me just do i'm just using the page building tool that i'm using you could do whatever you want in the page building tool that you use so now that we have the store checkout looking how we want you would want to do the same thing for the order summary as well as the customer dashboard. It's just as easy as I showed you. So now that that is set up, let's go ahead and add an add to cart button as well as a buy button to a page so that we can test this out. It's important to note that Surecart does not create product pages for you. You can create a product page for whichever product that you want. It's very easy, it's all design. We give you the link or the button that you can add to your designed product page that can take that buyer to the checkout to purchase. So those buttons are easy to find. All you have to do is go to products to see the products you've created. And I've created this product right here that says, ah, let's do this one, website care plan. All right, and here it is. It's a monthly subscription and here's the price. So in your products for every price that you'll have set up, there's gonna be a button that says copy links. And when you click on it, it's gonna show you the link. So here's a buy button link. Here is an add to cart short code that would work in any page builder that you're using and a buy button short code that would work in any page builder that you're using. You simply click on copy and you can now use that in your design. So I'll copy the buy button link and this will work in any button creator. So if your page builder has a button module that you like to use, all you have to do is paste this buy button link into it. And that's what I'm gonna use. Let's get out of here and let's go to a page and let's put that link inside of a button. Click into this page right here by my course. I'll use one of the buttons that come with Spectra, but you can use any button that you want. 
They have a really interesting button called a marketing button. Uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. There we go. So when I click on it right here, this gives me some presets. So if I like the way some of these other presets look, I can choose that. Uh, it's completely up to me. There we go. That's perfectly fine. And when I expand content, there's a spot here where I can paste in that URL. There we go. Now I can customize this to say whatever I want. So if I want to type buy now, there it is. And uh, here is a second line of text. This is just what comes with the tool that I'm using. So I can click on update and I can click on view and you can see there it is. So I could have designed that however I wanted. And all I have to do as it relates to Surecart, is to put the link into a button. Watch what happens when I click the button. I click on it, it takes me straight to the store checkout and it's added that product to the checkout. And did you see how lightning fast that was? Now there's also some additional options if you're using the block editor that make it even easier. So let me go ahead and edit that page again. So I'm gonna go to the block inserter. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Surecart. We actually have a buy button and an add to cart button that you can easily add to your design. So when you add either of these, it's going to give you a, a, a prompt to choose the product. So I'm going to click on buy button and you see I'm getting the prompt to choose a product. You can actually choose multiple products, by the way. So I'm going to choose this website plan and I'm going to choose a setup fee. Where is it? There it is, a setup fee. So I'm going to add these two products to the cart. I'm sorry, to the button. <laughs> and I'm going to cl click on create the button. And now I'm going to change the label. And so I'll do it here. All right, I just put in buy this plan. Let's go ahead and update it. And now we'll see what the page looks like. It's just a different button. When I click on it, it's going to take me instantly to the checkout and when I scroll down, it's added the care plan and the setup fee right there to the cart so I can go and check out. You could have just as easily added an add to cart button. Let me show you that. I'll edit the page. Let's go to the block inserter, scroll down. I'm gonna click on add to cart. Now with add to cart, you can only add one product at a time. So I'll go ahead and say, add this membership right here. That's fine. I can customize the text if I want to. I'm gonna leave it. Actually, let's make it add to bag. There we go. And then I'll click on update and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here it is, add to bag. And when I click on this, it's gonna trigger the slide out cart that I showed you how to customize in a different video. And if I wanna go to checkout, I just click on checkout and it takes me here and you can see that product is added to the checkout. You can use Surecart to do e-commerce your way. If you just wanna have a dedicated checkout form with products added to it or a price selector or a donation or an invoice, you can easily do that. But if you want that traditional setup where there's an add to cart link or a buy now link, you can easily do that as well. Except with Surecart, you get the ultimate flexibility to create those designs to sell your products the way that you want to have those look. It's not an opinionated design that's being forced on you. You can go and create a page and make it look as beautiful as you want it. Fill it up with high converting testimonials, social proof, all of the elements to get someone to actually buy. And then all you have to do is add a buy link or an add to cart link. And you saw how fast that checkout process was getting to the checkout and how easy it is to make the checkout look exactly how you want it, not how I want it to look for you. But the only thing that you really want to pay attention to is when you first activate Surecard and the pages are created, they might not look how you want them to look initially. So you wanna go in there and apply your special personality to your checkout, customize the fields to have exactly what you want and collect the information exactly what you want. And you can have the most customized design for your e-commerce store that matches your brand very easily without touching a line of code. Lastly, in a future update to Surecart, we are going to introduce optional product pages. So when you create a product, you can optionally create a product page. There'll be a quantity switcher. There'll be the add to cart button. It'll all be right there for you, but you'll still be able to customize the design to make it look exactly how you want it to look. Because that's what we're about here at Shortcard is making it so that you can have e-commerce your way, the way that you want to do it to have ultimate flexibility. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.